classwork example number one. A county superintendent of highways is interested in the number of different types of vehicles that regularly travel within his county. In the month of August, a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks at the local Department of Motor Vehicles, the DMV. The DMV reported that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars registered, there were seven pickup trucks registered. How many of each type of vehicle were registered in the county in the month of August? So that gives you a lot of information and it asks a question at the end. So in an effort to help walk you through this problem that's going to have multiple steps, they've broken the parts down into letters. So we'll start with A. Using the information in the problem, write four different ratios and describe the meaning of each. So give their description. So look back through those numbers and create four different ratios. Push pause until you've finished that activity. Okay, you should have come up with five to seven for the number of passenger cars to trucks. Now a passenger car, it's just a regular vehicle that we drive that's not a truck. So any cars or SUVs would be considered a passenger car. Its sole purpose is to get people from one place to the other. So cars to truck is five to seven. You could have also done seven to five, which is trucks to cars. Now the only other vehicle they gave us was 192. And that was the total cars and trucks that were registered. So you may have wanted to say um, cars, to the total number. However, this, the five to seven was a ratio they'd given. The 192 was the actual number of registrations. So we cannot put that in ratio form. You cannot put a ratio versus the total, the actual number. If we made a ratio table, we would have said the number of cars the number of trucks, and then the total number. So the number of cars was five, the number of trucks was seven. And if we had five cars and seven trucks, that total would be 12. So we can use 12 in the ratio to represent the total number. So if we went cars to total, that would be five to 12, and trucks, to total would be seven to 12. So these are four possible ratios that you could come up with to solve this problem and their description of each. Okay, step B says to make a tape diagram to represent the part to part ratios, part to part. Well, if it's just the parts, it's not including the total. So these two, are our part-to-part -part ratios. So we're going to draw a tape diagram to represent that. So B is drawing a tape diagram. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, when you label your tape diagram, we don't need to put the values on there. I can see that this is five boxes and that's seven boxes. I just need to know that this is representing cars and this is representing trucks. No other value about the ratio needs to be on there to be labeled. Okay, so we did A, which is find all the ratios. And then B was figure out which one we needed to use and draw a tape diagram for it. C asks, how many equal sized parts does the tape diagram consist of? So how many equal parts are there in all? When we created our ratio table, we also found that answer. There are 12 equal parts. Total. D says, what total quantity does a tape diagram represent? 
what total quantity does the tape diagram represent? So all of this together should equal what? This is where we need to go back to the problem and see what other information they've given us. So we've got our five to seven. Okay, here's where I realize they've given us 192 total registrations. So this is the amount of car registrations, truck registrations, and all together would be the total registrations. And they gave us that value for 192. So all the cars plus all the trucks should add up to 192. Okay. So E asks, what does the value of each individual part of the tape diagram represent? So now we need to know what goes in each equal part. Let you think about that for a second. If you have 192 and it's broken into 12 equal parts, what operation could we do to find the value of each part? And I hope you said divide, because divide is how we break into equal parts. So I could take 192 and I would divide it by the 12 equal parts. And you should get 16. So each part is worth 16. Okay, and then question F says, how many of each type of vehicle were registered in August? So how many cars and how many trucks? Well, we know there is 16 in each part, and there are five parts. So there were 80 cars registered, and then 16 in each part times seven. There were 112 trucks registered. Now, just to check our work, can add these two together and what should they add up to? 192. And they do. So we were able to answer the question that it asked originally, how many of each type of vehicle were registered in the month of August? 80 cars, 112 trucks, and A through F just walked us through the steps. These are the same steps that you are gonna be asking yourself and following when we're answering these types of problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and write them up here in the corner as a reminder. So the first thing you're gonna do is identify the ratios that you need. You're gonna draw a tape diagram. Okay, I'm going to find the, um, the total number of equal parts in the diagram. Then you're going to have to figure out the other information they give you. They might tell you the total of the entire diagram. They might give you one of the totals or maybe just a part of it. So we're going to go and we're going to take into consideration our other info. We're going to have to divide to find the value of each part. And then we'll multiply to find the value, the total values. So these are the same basic steps that you're going to be using to solve the rest of the other problem for today and then also on your homework. So I'll give you just a second to read example two while I raise the board. Okay, question number 
two says the superintendent of highways is further interested in the number of commercial vehicles that frequently use the county's highways. He obtains the information from the Department of Motor Vehicles for the month of September and finds that for every 14 non-commercial vehicles, there were five commercial vehicles. If there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles, how many of each type of vehicle frequently used the county's highways during the month of September? So I look at my step one, and that's to find their ratios. So I know 14 to 5 is the non-commercial to commercial. Okay? Step B is going to make a tape diagram. So I'm going to make my tape diagram. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen to five. So this is non-commercial to commercial. Got my tape diagram created and labeled. Now, I'm going to look, find the total number of equal parts. So 14 plus 5 is, there are 19 equal parts. I'm going to put that over to the side here. I've got 19 equal parts. Okay? Next thing we need to do, take into consideration the other info. If there are 108 more non-commercial vehicles, so there's 108 more non-commercial vehicles, so does that mean all of the non-commercial vehicles equal 108? No, it said more. That's a key word that's going to change the value. 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial. So that is the same amount from here to here equals 108. Because there's 108 more non-commercial to commercial. Okay, so now I need to find the value of each unit. I'm going to divide to find the value of each unit. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I need to take 108 and divide it by the 9 equal parts. 10 goes into 9 one time. 1 times 9 is 10. 1 is less. It's 2 times. 2 times 9 is 18. 0. So each unit is worth These are worth 12. These must also be worth 12. Okay. Then the last thing that we're going to do is find the total values to answer the question. How many of each type of vehicle frequently use the county's highways? So how many commercial and how many non-commercial? One, two, three, four, five. There's 12 in each group times five groups. 60. So there are 60 commercial vehicles. And I know this is 60. So I can add them together. And I'll get 168 non-commercial. Read carefully and make sure that what you're doing makes sense with the problem because the word more really changed what the value of that 108 meant. So now if you move over to the problem set on the homework, there are four different word problems and each one of them you're going to need to create a tape diagram and follow these steps to solve the problem. Good luck! And rewatch this video if you need help remembering the steps or how you solve each one of them.